guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is kind of like a food video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five of my kind of go-to breakfasts while I am on Weight Watchers or WW. Um, Mike and I both follow it. I mentioned in um, our nightly routine video that we have been on it, back on it, because we've done it in the past, but we've been back on it since July. Um, and I'm down like 20 pounds um, and I'm doing well. I mean, I had a little bit of a lag in the month of October. I feel like just because it was like my birthday month and it was like kind of one thing after another um, but we're kind of getting back on the bandwagon hopefully trying to kind of catch back up before the holidays hit so we don't do like too much damage on top of too much damage <laughs> but um, anyway yeah the breakfast can sometimes be hard because it's you feel like you're eating the same thing over and over again especially I feel like on the blue plan because there are so many zero point foods that you tend to like stick to those so that you can stay on track for the rest of your day so like eggs are zero points so you tend to eat a lot of eggs and that can get boring after a while so hopefully these breakfasts give you some kind of ideas if you are on ww if you are not on ww these are also still just healthy breakfasts um and they're fairly quick because i usually make them while josiah is hanging out in his playpen or while he's taking a quick morning nap um so i usually make them really quick and then just like log back on for work log back in for motherhood so these won't take you a ton of time and they will hit the spot and they will keep you full until lunch so let's get into the video. First up is avocado toast and eggs, the breakfast of millennial champions. I like my eggs over medium, just my preference. You can do whatever you like. Sunny side up is always good. And then this is the bread that we use when we're on Weight Watchers. It's low carb. It's one point per slice. Um, and then instead of using regular um, avocados, I use guacamole just because it keeps better in the fridge. You know, once you cut open an avocado, it's pretty much game over. So this is two points. Um, for two tablespoons, so I just do one on each slice of bread. Um, and I'm not super, super precise with my measurements. Mike is a lot more precise than I am. It's really funny. I'm kind of just like, eh, it's close enough. And it usually works out just fine for me. I like my everything bagel seasoning, just because it adds some flavor. Anything with a little bit of onion and garlic, and then crushed red pepper to give it a little kick. I just do like a little sprinkle of this. Final step, top it with your eggs, and you're pretty much good to go. My secret to keeping breakfast from getting boring is that the morning after I do a savory dish like eggs, I do something sweet. So that's where this oatmeal comes into play. I don't know if you've ever had unflavored oatmeal before, but it's really gross. However, the flavored packets can be like six, seven points and they don't really keep you full very long. So I like to do unflavored and then I sweeten it with some sugar-free maple syrup. You can usually have like a quarter of a cup of this stuff before it um, starts to accumulate any points. I just do a splash and then I add some cinnamon and then I like to add fruit, which is also zero points I don't know if it's zero points in all plans I only know about the blue plan but this is a quick and go-to breakfast for me especially when I'm like in the office next up is classic scrambled eggs and bacon now I wouldn't be on Weight Watchers if I couldn't have bacon and I have scanned many a bacon in the grocery store to figure out which one is the lowest points um, and so far this is the one that I found it's the Hatfield um, hardwood smoked classic cut bacon um, and it's three slices of bacon for just two points then when I'm doing scrambled eggs, I typically make myself two to three eggs depending on how hungry I am. I did three this day. The pan is gonna look really full in a minute because I made some extra, my dad stopped by. Um, and I don't add any milk or anything when I'm scrambling them. I know that usually makes them fluffier, but that would add points. So I just scramble them as is, add a little fat-free cheddar. As long as you use less than a quarter of a cup, it's no points for this cheddar. Um, salt, pepper, and then you've got yourself a nice little scrambled egg situation. Off camera, I made myself one slice of toast for one point and then I add, I can't believe it's not butter, for no points, some fresh fruit, and you're done. I love peanut butter and banana toast. There's something like super nostalgic about it. It reminds me of being a kid. I'm just gonna toast one piece of my low carb bread and then use my PB2 instead of peanut butter because that's just too high in points for me, especially this early in the morning. PB2 is two points for the serving size. So I just add my powder, my water, mix it up. This is the chocolate one, by the way, so good. Spread it on my toast and then slice my bananas. Um, I don't slice the whole banana, whatever's left over I just eat. Then I just have my container of light Greek yogurt for two points. I know I'm from New Jersey, so I had to throw a bagel in here. Although I'm not gonna lie, this is not like a really good bagel. This is a low carb bagel. It's two points for the entire bagel. And then some Weight Watchers cream cheese, I think is 
one point for the serving size, which is two tablespoons. I'm gonna show you two different ways that I like to do my bagel. The first is just some plain old cream cheese on there and then some everything um, seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning. Now they do have everything bagels um, from this brand, but they're really not good. They taste just like the plain ones, so this is better. The second way that I like to do them is by putting the cream cheese on and then doing a tablespoon of reduced sugar jelly. Cream cheese and jelly is the way my mom always had her bagels and I grew up loving it, so this is just kind of nostalgic for me too. And that is another way, and then I just add some fresh fruit. So that's it, those are kind of my quick go-to breakfasts. There are a couple more in my arsenal that I kind of break out if I have more time um, or I batch them so I can make like large batches and keep them in the fridge for like easy go-to during the week or um, like quick um, freezer things. So I'll make another video on those if you're interested, um, depending on if you liked this video or not. If you did like this video, leave me um, a thumbs up down below so I know that you liked it. You can leave any questions or comments you have for me as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.